It's Mommy Tang. What's up, Tang gang? I actually get a lot of letters saying, Mommy Tang, I'm so sad I can't try kimchi because I live in Europe. Especially I get, I live in Germany, I live in, I don't know, wherever. They're like, Mommy Tang, I can never try kimchi, especially vegan kimchi. They, they have places where they sell regular kimchi, but you know, I don't want to try regular kimchi. Well, I can't really help you 100%, you know? I'm really sorry. I've been telling mother-in-law, get yourself in Europe, you know? And she was like, I know, I know. Yeah, we're like calling phone buddies, meaning like she calls me, I call her over the phone, and we're like, hello, hello, we yap and stuff. Anyways, but you know, I used to study in Italy, right? You guys know that, right? Well, some of you don't know. I used to study in Italy. Now, this was like eight, almost 20 years ago when I studied in Italy. Probably in Italy has changed so much and there I'm sure there's kimchi and everything but back in the day There was no kimchi and there was a handful of Koreans living in Italy and what they did is <coughs> I'm sorry. They used to import the, the pepper powders, you know the Korean pepper powders Get a new bendy they used to import pepper powders from Korea and they used to buy cabbage and make it. Now, the only way to get Napa cabbage was if you go to Chinatown and you have to be really lucky. They won't sell it all the time, but if you get lucky, sometimes they would have it. They were so expensive, I remember. And me and my girlfriend, she was Korean as well, living in Italy. Me and her, we used to be like, oh, I miss kimchi jjigae, I miss kimchi bokkeumbap. So you know what we did? We used to make kimchi jjigae, kimchi casserole, kimchi bokkeumbap, kimchi fried rice, kimchi uh, sushi, all using. That's right, sauerkraut. <laughs> oh, what is sauerkraut? Sauerkraut in German, I think it means sauerkraut, means sour cabbage. And this is nothing but cabbage and water and salt. And it has some like sodium benzonide and you know, benzo benzoic, benzoic, I don't know, some, something that you can't pronounce. But it says right here, enjoy other, well, you know what I mean? And it's just like kimchi. So I haven't, you know, because I have kimchi all the time with me, I haven't tried this in almost, yeah, like who knows how long, really long time. You know, usually put, People usually put sauerkraut in their hot dogs and you know their sausages and stuff like that, right? But believe it or not, sauerkraut is very similar to white kimchi. A couple days ago, I made a recipe out of it. I'm thinking back, you know, oh yeah, I remember I used to do this in Italy, you know? So I made a dish and I gave it to Daddy Tay. I said, how do you like that? Well, he was a little busy, but you know, you gotta catch him when he's busy because when he's not and he's really hungry, if I say, can you try this? He's like, no, I don't want to try that. He'll, he'll be like, that. Like, oh, what is that? I don't want to try that, you know? Something in my eye. But Daddy Ting was busy, so I was like, quickly, I was like, oh, try this. And he, he was like, mm, like that. He walked out. I said, did it taste like kimchi? And he was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, if it, if it was really off, he would have been like, what is this? But he, was, he ate it, he was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. For Korean viewers out there, kimchi, no, it kind of tastes like uh, janji, you know janji, right? Janji muchim. That's what it tastes like. Yeah. So sauerkraut are everywhere, and they're so cheap. You know. So try this recipe. If you really love recipe, I have about one, two, three, four, about seven sauerkraut recipes that mimic kimchi. You know. Korean recipe, you know? So let me know. Just say more sauerkraut, mommy saying, more sauerkraut, mommy saying, and then I'll start putting on, maybe I'll put a list, playlist, sauerkraut. I don't know about that one, but anyways, you know what I mean? So let's get to this. Yeah, for some of you that don't know what sauerkraut is, they're like, what is that? You know what I mean? Some people that eat sauerkraut, they're like, what is kimchi? But some people that don't know sauerkraut, that eat kimchi, they're like, what is that? What? Why do you video now? What am I doing video now? Over here. I don't know what you're saying. Let me see. Let me try this. Oh yeah. Can I, can I have mm. The one that I had yesterday actually was a different brand. It was a smaller brand. 
And have less. <laughs> less. Hmm. Less chemical tasting. How is it? I think she likes it. She thinks it's kimchi. I like it. Does it taste like kimchi? Yes. So just find the best sauerkraut. I don't even know if this is the best sauerkraut, but it was just on sale, so that's what I got, okay? Oh wait, I'm doing this wrong. It has liquid in it, so I just want to try it. Let's move on to the recipe. Wow, the sauerkraut I had yesterday was so much better. So try to look for the good sauerkraut, you know what I mean? I guess, I don't know. This was on sale, like I said, and it was cheap. But you know, sometimes I guess if you buy like a better sauerkraut, is there better? I don't know. Any oil will do. A little bit of oil, okay? Add in your sauerkraut. You're gonna be surprised. You know those college students. You know they've been trying to do everything cheap, and you think vegan kimchi is too expensive for you, like mommy Tang. Vegan kimchi is too expensive. Make this, okay? Stay this in the refrigerator. I'm making sushi today, you know what I mean? To make it a little fancy. It's almost like a clickbait, you know? People love sushi, they're like, oh. But really, you don't have to make sushi. Just eat this as a side dish with your rice. So good. You know? Yeah, definitely. Yesterday was so much better. Just throwing in there, you know. Mix that baby up really good. You guys are in for a surprise. Didn't I tell you yesterday? Then I had an amazing, amazing recipe for ya. You know? Okay, at this point. Some black pepper. Some soy sauce. If you don't have soy sauce, if you don't, can't eat any soy sauce, then use salt, okay? I tell you, the salt in it, the soy sauce is going to make it very, very Asian. After all, we're trying to make an Asian dish here, you know. Put the heat down because sauerkraut you could eat raw, you know. We're not trying to kill the sauerkraut or burn the sauerkraut. We're trying to, you know, make it yummy. So, low heat. Let's try this at this point. Remember I, what I taught you before? Always, always try food right after you add a spice so you know, ah, when you add this spice, this tastes like this, you know? That's how you learn about spices. Mm. Excellent. Garlic powder. You could use raw garlic, you could use minced garlic, whatever garlic thing you have, okay? If you don't like to use garlic powder, don't use garlic powder. If you like to use raw garlic, then use garlic. If you don't like garlic, then don't use garlic. It's your recipe. Oh my God. Mmm. Oh. Can I put it down? Little bit of sugar. You could use whatever sugar you want. I have coconut sugar because, I don't know, a lot of vegans use coconut sugar. You know, they say it's clean sugar. You know, I like mine a little bit sweet, so I always put extra sugar. But, you know, if you don't have sugar, just a little bit of sugar, okay? Honey, be careful. Be careful, Bubabi. Oh, look at this. It's coming along, coming along. I mean, you don't understand. I used to make kimchi jjigae, like with sauerkraut. Me and my friend, we were, well, we were of course, meat eaters back then, so we would make it with pork belly and we looked at each other we're like, oh my god, this is something. And we were like, I know. I was like, oh my god. No? Yeah, my friend. Oh, I miss her. I don't know. I moved out of Italy before her and she moved also. We were we were pretty close, but 
when she moved back to Korea, I just lost contact. Gochugaru, this is a very, very important step here if you want to make this. I mean, this right now, it tastes good too. You know, it tastes good, but it doesn't really taste kimchi. And then you start putting this. Mommy's saying, I can't get that anywhere. Listen, you can't get kimchi where you are, but gochugaru, Korean pepper paste, you could order them online, okay? Because they're not, they're packaged dry food, so they will deliver this anywhere. If you can't find, I, I really like this bread, I got it from H Mart. If you can't get that, sometimes they come in a bag like this, right? Look at the pepper, look at the pepper, long pepper. Well, sometimes supermarkets would have something like this, no? Never seen it? Right? Sometimes when you see it, oh my god, that's mommy tang's hot pepper, right? Just get like 10, 12, 13, get them, okay? Bring them home. And then dry them over the counter. All you have to do is just leave it in a bowl like this and just forget about it. Just seriously forget about it. And like two or three weeks later, they'll be all like this. See how it is They're all dry? Look. See that? I'm gonna compare with this. This is the, the, the raw one, this is the dry one, right? And when they're totally dry, get a wet paper towel, dry off, you know, clean off the dirt that was been sitting there, unless you put some kind of whatever. But, and then you put it in the coffee grinder, you grind it, and this is what that is. People, okay? When you buy it, of course, in the store, they use Korean peppers and stuff like that. So they have a little bit of more flavor. But if you live in like Germany or like I said, countries that you know don't have Korean ingredients and you want to make this on your own, look for those peppers, okay? Don't use jalapeno peppers. Don't use Mexican peppers. Don't do that, okay? It's not going to taste Asian. It's going to taste Mexican. What do you think of your hair? What do I say about your hair? Never listen to mommy. Put some hot peppers. Now, if you like your things spicy, you know what I mean? You don't understand. When you put this, it tastes very similar to kimchi. Fried kimchi. Yeah, you'll be surprised. People who had kimchi before and had sauerkraut before, you'll be like, oh my god, mommy Tang is so right about this. And you know how sauerkraut is very cheap, you know that, right? I mean, kimchi is cheap too, but if it's vegan, it's a little pricey, you know what I mean? Just because it, it should be off, it, should, it shouldn't be that way, but. So Korean. Are we done, Mommy Tang? Of course not. I'm never done. Now come this way, because that's dangerous over there. What do you say when you do this? Protein, protein. If you don't say it, you can't do that. Look at mommy. Protein, protein. You do it. You try it. Say protein, protein. Protein, protein. That's right. When she grows up, she's going to think that's a protein powder or something. Yeah, my mom uses that. What is that? Yeah, that's a protein powder. That's sesame seeds. No, that's protein powder. My mom said that's was a protein powder, you know? Oh, sesame. Now you want to turn the heat off at this point. Look at that. Doesn't that, taste, doesn't that look like kimchi? Can I taste a little bit? Not done yet. You guys, try it before sesame seeds and then try it after sesame seeds, okay? Here. It's spicy though. Wait, it's too spicy for you because the gochukaru is really spicy. Here. Can I do it? Sesame oil. Sesame oil make it very Korean too. Very Korean. Okay? Just mix it good. Okay? Now if you don't want to make sushi like I said, leave this out, you know what I mean, container and just eat it with your rice and you know whatever that you want to eat, your vegetables, your greens and just eat with this. Just like a pancha, just like kimchi, you know, that's what you need to do but me, you know, fancy and all. Try to make everything fancy, you know? So I'm gonna make sushi with this. Oh. Are you sure you're a sauerkraut? I don't think you're a sauerkraut. I really think you're janji. Janji muchim? This is what it tastes like. Oh. Are we ready to make some sushi? 
You could use any sushi nori sheet you like. I have so much. Like this is imported from Korea. This is more for kimbap. But this is more for sushi. When we usually make kimbap, which is Korean sushi, we don't really use toasted seaweed. We use raw seaweed. But for this recipe, we will be using toasted seaweed. You know, you guys all know what seaweed is, right? You guys could get this. So when you make sushi, there's always a shiny side and there's like a rough side, okay? So you want to put the shiny side down and you put the, the rice on the, uh, the rough side. Now if you like to make sushi at home regularly, then you probably want to get this rolling mat. You know, these are pretty cheap. They're like 99 cents or 199. They're bamboo, whatever, you know? But sometimes when you just use this and make sushi with it your rice will get stuck here and it will get dirty so i used to saran wrap it till one of the viewers said mommy tang use this and i was like wow thank you she said to use ziploc bag the bigger one it fits right in it's like almost like it's meant to be together or something i was like thank you you know who you are who told me that thank you always making me so smarter than what i really am See that? You, of course, you want to get you know, all the air out before you lock it. You know what I mean? That way, you don't have to even wash the mat and you could just wash the bag and reuse the bag. How smart of that lady, whoever discovered it. Okay, plain rice. Some people season their rice and everything. <laughs> plain is always better. Remember, I said go easy. I mean, this is already a lot of work. I mean, you want to season your rice and do this and do that. You know, that's a lot of work. Gotta work, work. Is that the song? Work, work, work. Oh. So the trick to nice sushi is that you have to roll it up tight. And what I usually do, I'll show you. Since I love my rice and all, okay. I fill the rice up. Pretty much, I leave a little room over here. You know what I mean? But pretty much, this is the way I put rice. You don't have to be all nice and clean and all that stuff. You know, and they put the sauerkraut on the middle, like so. You, when you eat this, you'll be like, Mommy Ting, I love you. This is so easy. On top of that, you could pack this for lunch. You know, make it all fancy for your friend, your vegan friend, if you have a vegan friend. And you want to do this, you know, roll it, roll it, all the way tight, 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 all the way from the center to the outside, tight, tight, tight. Look at that. Look at that. Ooh. Let me just try it, you know? I mean, you have to really, and you got to put like oil and stuff like that, some people do, but... Did I have a knife? Wait, didn't I have a knife? Oh, yeah. Try this. Cheers, sauerkraut. Let's make some more. I was gonna make four rolls, but honestly, I put so much rice in there. I don't wanna stuff myself, you know what I mean? I don't know. I think this is good enough. What do you think? Let's plate this, nice. When you cut sushi, always have a towel, wet towel to wipe off your you know, knife with water so they cut clean. And use a sharp knife. Look at that. That look nice. Wipe, wipe, wipe. Remember, 
remember what I told you simple you gotta eat simple if you want to lose weight if you want you know look how simple this one is just sauerkraut and some spices and rice oh, shall we eat it yes oh mmm oh, of course you could eat it with wasabi and soy sauce and stuff but Sometimes, you know, I don't feel like it. This is good enough. Mm. She would put some more protein, protein in there. What is that, Mommy Tang? It's black sesame seeds. You know, they're black. They're not even white. They're black. Ugh. They're like protein, protein. <laughs> I don't even know if that makes sense. Black sesame seeds, they taste... Amazing. Mm. If you don't like your sushi too dry, this is on a little bit on the dry side because it's, you know, low fat sushi. But if you want your sushi a little bit more, you know, juicy, I guess, you could brush off some oil on the top of the nori, you know? Mm. Mommy mm -hmm. Tang SOS. I want to become vegan, but the cook in our house is my mom, and she has no idea how to cook vegan food. I'm 23. I don't know how to time. I don't have time to cook. Plus, I'm kind of bored. <laughs> I hope you understand. Please do a video about that. Help me. First of all, when you become vegan and you're not the one that's cooking your own food and nobody, you know, like the person that's cooking your food is not vegan, you're making your life really hard. I think the reason people see me on my channel is because they want to learn how to make good vegan food. Obviously, if you could buy vegan food just around the corner, you wouldn't be watching me because you could just buy it from them, you know? It's hard for us to stay vegan because so little option out there for us. So we want to eat good food, yummy food. So you're always, you know, looking at recipes and see what you can make. My advice is just try to cook whenever you can, you know? Now when you cook, ask your mom to maybe help you out. Uh-huh. What? Oh, here. I need to find something. Okay. Okay. I need to you have to you you have to be the one that first find the recipes and maybe try to make it you know once and then ask your mom to keep it up if she's willing to do that for you you know I don't know I don't even know a good advice for that I can't stress this enough. Basically going vegan, in my opinion, is just getting rid of unnecessary stuff in your life. Just to simplify a lot of things, you know? That's what I think basically going vegan is, really. Eliminating meat products, because you figure you don't really need meat in your diet, you know? And I'm just enjoying simple food. For me, this has so much flavor right now. I'm like, whoa, you know, but for some people, this would be like, oh, it's so bland and, oh, I can't eat that every day. If you're vegan for a really long time, I make this for somebody has, somebody who's been vegan for a long time, make this for them, they'll flip out. They'll be like, oh, this is so good. You know, you give this to somebody that who eats 
sushi. You know how some people go to sushi restaurant and they order like dragon roll with like all this sauce and all this meat and all this fish all over and they make it fancy. And then, you know those people that eat rolls like that? When they eat this, they're not going to think that it's going to be good. They're going to be like, oh, this is so like bland. You know? Although, I think if they sell this at a sushi restaurant, I think they will do good. Obviously, I can't really cut it like the professionally, like really, you know, little. Mmm! So good. Somebody also snapped me a while back actually and said my son's first birthday, his name is Blake, can you say it? But like I said, sometimes my videos are already like, you know, planned and sometimes I forget. But anyways, happy belated birthday, Blake. He said he loves it when I yell protein, 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 protein! <laughs> That's for you, Blake. Mm. Mommy Tang, I love your relationship topics and your mukbang. I have a question for you. How do I get my ex to want me back again? How do I express my confidence so that he misses me? It was a long distance relationship in college, but now summer's here and we're back in the same city. What should I do? Girlfriend. First of all, when you guys are going out, right? Why did you guys even break up in the first place? First, answer yourself with that question. Why do we break up? It was long distance relationship, Mommy Tan. That's just an excuse. There are a lot of people out there that make long distance relationship work. Obviously, it didn't work for you guys because you have another reason behind that. That's just an excuse. It's for the Tangan and you. Oh no, Mom, we're going to do it. It's for that and you. Ooh! She's a little blue. Oh no. Tangan! That's from Amber. Amber! That's for Tangan and you. Thank you! I popped it. Oh my god. You know? You said, how do I show my confidence? to get him to notice me. What is this? What My else? opinion, confidence, yeah. confidence is not something that you show. Confidence is something that you you have to have inside. If you're just confident, he'll know. I do talk about how to be confident, right? On top of that, you say you guys are in the, you guys are in the same city, but what will happen after summer? Are you guys going to be in the same city still, or are you guys going to be again faced with relationship? I mean, faced with distance relationship. You know, you think it's going to work the next time? You feel it's going to work the first time? Sometimes you just gotta move on with your life, you know? I never thought I would marry Daddy Tang when I was 18. Never. In fact, even the day before I met Daddy Tang, the day before, I still remember what I did the day before I met Daddy Tang. Never in a million years I thought I was gonna meet my husband to be the next day. But I did. Confidence is not something that you do to show off to people. Confidence is something that you have because you're confident. You know? I think you try to show somebody how to be confident. They don't, I don't think they're going to think you're confident. I think they're going to think you're like cocky or B-I-T, dot, dot, you know?
Uh, I'm not saying it to be like that, but you know what I mean. Remember I told you how to be confident? That was so not enough rice. I literally brought like a mountain full of rice in a huge bowl like this. Look how big my this bowl is. Obviously it's not enough. So for some of you that don't want to make sushi, this is what I mean. Just eat it like this, you know? Like this. Like this. Just like this then to make it into a sushi it does guys usually notice girls who are not so into them you know a girl doing their own thing they get noticed a lot more than the girl who's like looking at them and stuff you know for example you go to the library Pretend you're gonna study, but you don't really study. You're really there to pick up boys. You know, <clears throat> and you're like this. You know, but you're not really studying and just looking around and stuff. Guys are gonna know that. They're gonna be like, oh, she's here to dig some gold or something, you know. <clears throat> but if you're pretty, you go to the library to really study. When you look up, guys will be looking at you. And the guys will come up to you and say, hey. And I get to know you, kind of like thing, you know? The only place they allow you to look at guys and be open about that is nightclubbing, okay? Only place you can look around and nobody says nothing, okay? Otherwise, or a bar or something like that. Otherwise, you should just be focusing on whatever you're there for. Like, I mean, if you go to the park to go bike riding, then go bike riding. If you're going to the library to study, then go out to study. If you go somewhere to eat, go eat. Don't do anything else. Don't do anything stupid, you know what I mean? Even nightclubs? If you go there to dance rather than to pick up boys, you'll get picked up faster than the girl who's there to pick up boys. If you're there to dance, just have fun, you'll get picked up so much faster than the, the girl who's like always like ooh you know yeah I don't know if that answers your question guys after I hit 100k I want to do some Q&A soon you know what I mean so, if you have any questions that you would want me to answer, then leave them below in the comments and I'll answer you. Okay? Don't be asking for what size my underwear is and stuff like that. People will be like, ooh, mommy, what size is your underwear? I'm like, what? Why do you want to know size of my underwear? So weird. I feel the food belly right now. It's like... I'm wearing like a, a tight that had an elastic band on the waist, so it's not even a food belly, but it's like, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I gotta walk around like that all day today. Mm. Mm. I'm gonna teach you how to make soup out of that too, okay? So make sure to subscribe. Oh. I take that back. I used to hate YouTubers who say, please subscribe and like my videos and check me on Instagram and this and that. I don't know. You don't have to subscribe if you don't want to, okay? It's up to you. Best Asian.